It was 2004 when Hurricane Charlie charged across Florida. You may remember that. Obviously, everybody does. After the storm, some local leaders saw opportunity filing big damage claims. Yeah, but there's a big question. What happened to all that insurance money? And you might not like what we found. Here's 10 News investigator Mike Deason with a story you will see only on 10. This disaster. When Hurricane Charlie unleashed its fury on Florida in 2004, it left a trail of damage from businesses to homes. We lost everything. After the storm, cities and counties lined up with insurance claims, including Hardy County. Some county officials claimed the Hardy County Civic Center in Wachula was one of its buildings that had taken a beating in the storm. But Hardy County Commissioner Grady Johnson doesn't buy it. What kind of, what kind of damage was here? Uh, it, it appears to me very little. Johnson, a retired deputy sheriff, says the county filed a huge claim on the Civic Center to fix up the alleged storm damage. He wants to know where all that money went. It appears to me that there's well over a million been paid out on this. On this building? On this building. Look at a picture of the Civic Center the day after Charlie hit. It doesn't look much different from today. Even the water damage on the inside seems minimal, especially when you consider it has a terrazzo floor. But the bill for emergency drying was $576,000. When I first seen that, uh, it just took my breath away. Half a million dollars to pump water or remove water from a concrete building, which you have seen, terrazzo floors. And it's not just the Civic Center. Johnson is also upset about the figures he's seen for the county-owned Rest Haven Nursing Home. There's over a million dollars was supposed to have been spent here and the figures that I've seen after this hurricane. Do you believe that? No, sir. No, sir. Wendell Cotton is on the board of directors of Rest Haven. He says the building on the outside and inside is 40 years old and looks it. And it doesn't look like hundreds of thousands were spent on the building just nine years ago. When you hear that they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, out here. What do you think? I think it's a joke. Where's this money at? What happened to it? Because it certainly didn't go in this building and it did not go in that building over there. Nine years after Charlie, FEMA still has not closed the file. Back then, the agency discovered conflicts on damage description, scope of work, and cost estimates. So we wanted to get some answers. Doug Knight was the county point person for repairs. But people are asking questions about how the money was spent in Hurricane Charlie. Pull the file. Well, I have pulled Thanks, the file. Thanks, Mike. I have pulled the public records. Mike, thank you. Have a good day. Hey, you have a good one, too, Doug. Knight refused to answer our questions. But County Manager Lex Albritton was Knight's boss after the storm. All Britain claims he's convinced the, the millions of dollars of repairs all were all done. Everything. It's all as documented as it can be documented. I can't make you believe it. But through these scathing letters and emails obtained by the 10 News investigators, as well as comments at public meetings, then Hardy County Clerk of Court Hugh Bradley charged that All Britain and his hired gun, Doug Knight, lied about whether the people who did the repairs were actually approved to do it broke the law when they authorized the payout of insurance money without going through the clerk of court's office and may have paid some vendors twice for the same work. The battle between the clerk, who is now retired, and county manager Albritton over the way the money was spent came to a head at this county meeting one year ago. People really, truly, they want integrity and they want honesty and they want to know that there are not a few in a position that are trying to, for whatever reason, divert a million dollars. The belief that that money is going to some shell company that then divided it and turned it back to the employee myself is pure bull. Well, it's true it's not accounted for in his accounting records. That doesn't mean it's not accounted for. But Commissioner Johnson, the retired deputy, isn't satisfied. It's clear, it's clear he wants the U.S. attorney to open a federal investigation into where the money went. Money. They could have helped people who really suffered from the storm. The evidence is so overwhelming that there is something seriously wrong involving a lot of money. 
Meantime, while Doug Knight, who led the insurance efforts for the county during Charlie, wouldn't answer our questions on camera, he did email me a statement that attacked former clerk of court Hugh Bradley. Knight says he doesn't believe Bradley has the competency to handle money appropriations for Charlie or grasp the claim loss and the documentation. Bradley, who is retired and traveling out of state, couldn't be reached, but it's worth noting that he spent 15 years as the chief financial officer of Hardy County, and he is the only one that state law says should be handling the money and the payouts, not the county manager, nor his hired gun, Doug Knight. We'll stay on top of it. More to come.